Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! More Birdie Badge highlights! Starting from the Lynx Club, because there's a lot of holes that I didn't get birdies on here because, well, it's the Lynx Club and the Lynx Club is pretty brutal. And this one, yeah, did not go all that well for my drive, so I gotta kind of do a recovery shot here and take a guess at how far it's going to come out of the heath. I do a pretty good guess though, and it ends up at the back corner of the green. So then, what I gotta do here is make the putts, somehow and carefully. Yeah, just a little bit of left to right, and I just trickle it down in there, and there we go. Next hole is the third. This is a pain of a par 3 to be consistent on, especially when the wind is so high on this course. Because there's not much of a landing area, but watch watch this. I land my ball almost at the very, very thinnest part of the green somehow. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because there's not much of a break in this putt. And I just moved a little bit to the right. And she goes in. Fourth hole. Par four. Now, this is one of the easiest ones on the course. I don't know how I didn't get a birdie on this one. But, uh... See, there's just, there's just not really much... Look at all those compressions. Dang it. Dang you, FF splits. Dang you. But anyway, there's not really much, any obstacles around there. I mean, yeah, there's bunkers and heath in the middle of the fairway, but you're you're so skilled at this point in the game, you know, from playing the other courses, that chances are you won't miss hit that much to get into any of those issues. But I didn't quite make the green here. <laughs> I don't know why, but I didn't make this green. It's an easy... It's an easy hole, I don't, it just, maybe it's just been very unlucky for me on this hole, but then I chip it in. <laughs> so forget forget my theory about being unlucky. Actually, no, those those sorts of chip-ins aren't really luck for me. They're they're pretty easy to do, uh, as long as you get the ball rolling, you know, early on. It's like a putt, basically. Uh, anyway, I'm going to hit this ball way, way out there because it's a long par 4 and I would like to get as much as I possibly can, but then I end up in the semi-rough, not the bunker. I don't know how I didn't end up in the bunker there, because... just Did you see how fast it was rolling into the bunker? I mean, I, I, kind of surprising that it would get caught up on some grass there, but it did. <laughs> I mean, the grass would have to be pretty thick for it to catch a ball going at that speed, and since it's semi-rough, I don't think that would happen, but... Well, it all worked out. <laughs> so, birdie for me. Now, ninth hole. Where should I put the ball here? Because there's there's a lot of junk here, <laughs> so I put a lot of thought into the shot. Eventually, I decided to put it on the patch of fairway down the slope, past the bunker, but before the heath. But what happened was, unfortunately, my ball bounced a little farther than I expected, and then it rolls off the slope into the heath. <laughs> Figures that I would end up in more heath on this course, and I had the really think about the averages of the, my distances here and because you know the heath and I had to think about the direction because I had to take a really long club and I ended up kind of short of the hole but I got kind of kind of good I mean on my placement here because I didn't really have to move the cursor because that's all all flat spot up there <laughs> so that that worked out really well uh, tenth hole power three uh, despite how the green looks here with this number eight shaped green. Uh, there's a lot more landing area than it looks with all that fringe. There's a lot of fringe there, uh, th but it doesn't really show up on this larger map screen here. But I hit my ball a little bit long, and you know when I hit my ball off the green on a birdie badge compilation video? That pretty much means chip in is gonna go. <laughs> I should say long, short, left, right, wherever my ball ends up, I do the chip in. <laughs> And just think, I, I would have gotten a dead center if I wouldn't have mishit the shot there on the power gauge. I mean, on the, you know, the impact area on the gauge. Now over here, this is a deceptively dicey landing area to hit, because there's all those bunkers and greens and compression artifacts. <laughs> like, why does it do that sometimes and not other times? But I end up at the bunker, but anyway. So I end up uh, choosing a more safer spot by ending up... Uh, aiming towards the, the part of the green that I can roll onto from the fairway just to be safe because I knew I wouldn't have uh, very much control over my carry uh, so I hit over there and then attempt to make the putt and you know birdie badge compilation video this putt's going in <laughs> and thus it does 
Next hole is the 13th, and this is really easy for a uh, long drive character. Because look, look where I can go here. Look at this. <laughs> it, no matter where I land my ball up there, Heath, Bunker, uh, rough, semi-rough, it doesn't matter. It's it's gonna be on the green on the next shot. I mean, let's let's be honest here. <laughs> so then I just I just decide, yeah, I'm just gonna plunk it up there. I don't I'm not gonna really aim for the hole here. I'm just gonna play it on the low portion just to make sure that I got a nice easy putt for my birdie badge. I'm not gonna do anything fancy here, and that's exactly what I did. Aimed a little to the right, and sure enough, it goes in. <laughs> 14th hole, yeah, there's a lot of holes to the Lynx Club I gotta catch up on here, <laughs> as I said. So this is uh, a shot that I gotta put a lot of thought into here, because there's two mouths to the fairway, with Heath all around those mouths, and yeah, if I land my ball, like, touching any of the Heath, it's gonna get stuck in the Heath, so I gotta really put thought into the wind and the fast fairway and stuff like that, and then it turned out alright. So, let's hit the ball up on the green here. Well, hopefully. <laughs> nah, it goes just fine, if I recall correctly. So, it's gonna fly. It actually hit the semi-rough. Yep, I was correct. And then it, it cuts off the roll, which is perfect. And then I just make this putt by aiming a teensy bit to the right. And there we go. She goes in, but in the side door. <laughs> now... It's time for Peach's Castle. Yes. I just noticed I forgot to put the the Peach's Castle splash screen type thing, you know, that before you choose the tournament. Oh, well. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so I hit my ball over there. And... Yeah, this is the thwomp hole, so I got a long hole, I mean a long shot to the hole, of course. And I'm really nervous about this shot. <laughs> I try and take an iron here because it'll go higher and stop a little bit quicker than a wood would. Wood would get it in lots of compression artifacts, stop that. And it lands a little bit far. When it lands far, you know it's coming. <laughs> yep. She goes in. <laughs> yeah, I hit that a little bit hard, but I hit the back of the cup and you know it was going fast, so. Uh, it, and then there's a splash screen. <laughs> But anyway, I hit it hard and it was going fast, but it went in because it hit the center of the cup right in the back. And this shot I was really sure about for some reason I was hitting it. Like, I know this is a hard green to hit at such a distance because it's so short, but I was really, really sure about this and it really shows. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, three more holes to go here. I was, yeah, I was playing the Gulf Cruise Pitch and Putt here as if it has birdie badges because there's only four holes I didn't get birdies on here, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll go through and get the birdies on those as well, just for the fun of it. And this is the same hole from Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt Challenge, you know, that you gotta have to get one-on-one -on -one putt, and yeah, it's really off I didn't birdie it the first time through, because this is, this is kind of a ridiculous hole if you think about it. <laughs> Next up is another hole from the challenge, yep, hitting over the bunker, onto a thin portion of the green, but I have a lot of wind here to allow my ball to land soft. In fact, it would land a little too soft, so I decided to put topspin on the ball, and it still landed pretty soft there, but man, it worked out. <laughs> so then I just move it a little over to the right, and make that putt. Come on, Pika Gam. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! <laughs> and the last hole here in the compilation is the 10th hole, which of course is going to end in a birdie. And I'm kind of surprised I didn't birdie this my first time around, considering how much green I have to work with and whatnot. But I noticed that the wind was kind of between wind uh, again, as I noticed before on other holes. Uh, so I was carefully checking between the screens there to make sure that my shot would run true. And then I just put it in from the green edge, just like so, by moving it just a teensy, teensy, tiny bit over to the right. Observe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweetness. And now... Now, look at this, look at this, look at this, it's all the birdie patches! <laughs> and, there are, I mean, this is on all the courses, you can hear the different music for the different courses, and here's the Mario course, and since there's none for the Golf Cruise Pitch and Putt, I just went over to the match games, and there's the stars that I got, 
completed 100% in every way, shape, and form. What the heck happened? Did the walkthrough just end? I think it did. Huh. That never happened before. Well, I guess I should give some closing thoughts here then, huh? So, Mario Golf Game Boy Color. That was a doozy of a walkthrough to complete because of the high difficulty in 100%ing the game. Especially stuff like uh, Golf Crew's Pitch and Putt as well as some of the birdie badges. But I did manage to do so. And I, I think I did so in a way that put the game into... I, I should say give you a feel of how you feel while playing a game such as this because of the... Uh, the highs and lows of playing a golf game because you know there's a lot of there's a lot of awesome shots there's a lot of bad shots so <laughs> i figured that the whole face cam thing would give you the essence of it if you will you know of the actual uh game you know the whole feel of it and uh this this thing was uh you know the game was <laughs> was a really dedicated experience for me like i was practicing this game so hard day and night. Well, you know, like in bed and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, it was quite a doozy. And uh, I think my practice did indeed pay off because I didn't have too much issue overall on things, but there were some difficulties with certain things because, you know, golf and all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's... That was a fun one to make, though, I gotta say, despite all the difficulty that I did have at some points. Uh, I, I do like a good challenge, and Mario Golf definitely, definitely provides a good challenge in that regard. Um, like, like, it even is like a mental challenge as well. Like, if you were doing lots and lots of bad shots in a row and just trying to beat some quest, you'll eventually beat said quest if you just keep trying at it. And that's that's the thing. It's you can't like lose focus of the goal that is at hand. And that's what I tried to emphasize with the like the cuts that I did at the Windy Valley special hole. And that was all done in one day. Uh the same with uh Golf Guru's pitch and putts, which I did in one day as well, but I kinda, you know, lost the footage for the first attempt that I had at it because of the whole uh recording failure thing of the camera running out and yeah, I was I was kinda like chatting to nothing while I was playing. I was like, oh poopers when I realized it. <laughs> so I figured since it was going on for so long, I might as well just scrap that one. And yeah. But it all worked out. I was able to show successful runs on everything. Uh, you know, like, no replays or anything like that. Well, except for that Albatross, uh, that was on another save file, but that was just because I wasn't recording at the time, and I just had the game, uh, replay it and whatnot. But, all in all, this was a really fun walkthrough. So much fun that I'm sad to see it end, really. If only there was another Mario Golf game that I could do in the future. Hmm. Oh! Of course! Mario Golf Advanced Tour! Yeah!